and welcome back to Sash Fabrics. Jessica here again and today's video is going to be a tutorial on how to make a baby teething ring which our knit fabrics here at Sash Fabric work perfect for and if you plan on ordering any of our minky I love using textured fabrics for the back so today's example is going to be done with a knit front with our cotton lycra knits and a minky back if you order any of our minkies though, you could definitely do a print minky with a solid cotton fabric. So in order to make these, the three things you need are wooden ring. What I'm using today is a maple ring and it has a one and three quarter inch inner diameter and a two and three quarter inch outer diameter. And I just really like this size. I think it looks really cute. So next you need your minky and you need a print. Today I'm using Stackles on Teal which is one of our 95.5 cotton lycra knit fabric. So step one and I will have this in the file section in Sash Fabrics Facebook group so make sure you are a member there if you want this pattern. I will be linking a PDF version of this pattern for you guys for free so make sure you download that to start this. So you're going to get your pattern. I like to cut two rectangles, I'll show you this side, two rectangles, one out of each of my fabrics. So here I have one minky fabric and one cotton lycra fabric. Okay. I like to lay those down on my table and trace my pattern out on it and pin around. Now the thing with minky and knit, especially when you use them together, is that they tend to stretch a lot when you're sewing them. So you'll notice I use lots and lots and lots of pins. You definitely want to pin really, really well. Okay, so go ahead and sew around that with a quarter inch seam allowance, um, treating the black line as if it is the edge of your fabric and sewing a quarter inch in from that. Okay, once you get it sewn, you're going to want to trim around it and you're going to trim around around an eighth inch or so from the edge. You want it close-ish, but not close enough that the seam's going to rip through or the threads are going to break. Okay, except for in the very center, you can see where I left those two little marks. That's where you're going to leave your turning hole. So it's roughly two and a half, three inches apart. Leave it whatever you need. If you need to leave it this entire distance, go for it. You're just going to have to top stitch it shut. So at this point, we are going to turn it. So for turning, I love my little point turner, and I forget what brand it is right now. I'm going to look it up. I think it's a Dritz. I'll link it in the comments description down below. So what I like to do to turn this is take your thumb, push that tip through until you get it to the opening you left. So I'm kind of pushing it into the opening, and then just pull. So simple and repeat repeat with your other side push until you get it to the opening there you are and pull it through next you're going to take your point turner and make sure to push all the way to the tip and the thing here is you want to make sure you get your fabric turned as much as you can. You can see how that's nice and turned now. You want it turned as nice and cleanly as you can get it because that's going to make your finished product turn out even nicer. Okay, so once you get this all completely turned, you're going to pin around your edges. Again, minky, knit, they like to stretch. Use a lot of pins. Um, if you have any of the Wonder Clips, you can also use those for this. Okay, so now at this point, you're going to top stitch around about an eighth of an inch from the edge, give or take. Okay, now you're going to fold the pacifier or the, you're going to fold the fabric together so that this is how it's going to look on the finished product. So whichever way you set these guys, this is how it's going to look. Now you'll notice this is a directional fabric. So I've kind of got my directions both coming from the middle so that they're both visible when it's finished. Okay, so I'm going to take that like that put my wood ring over it and then I'm going to with my wrong side whatever my solid side of my fabric is I'm going to pull it back up through okay 
and you just straighten it to however you want it to be. And then just make sure you give it a good tug. Um, I do find that you want to make sure to pull nice and tight on these. And there you go. Finished wooden teething ring toy. So this is a great use for scraps. They really aren't that big of pieces. So yeah, use them all up. Uh, and you can also join them in the middle. If you find that you have some pieces that are not as big as what I'm using here today, you could definitely make a seam right in the center of the pattern and put two pieces together. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video today and I look forward to seeing you guys back at Sash Fabrics. Thank you.